This video will cover the topic, Introduction to Compound Interest. In an earlier lecture, we covered simple interest. Simple interest finds the amount that must be paid for borrowing money. It is calculated using the formula I equals PRT, where I is interest, P is the principal amount borrowed, R is the rate of interest per period of time, and T is the number of periods of time. If this calculated value of interest is added to the principal amount, and then interest is found on that new amount, the interest is compounded because the interest continues to build on new amounts of money. Let's take a look at an example and come to a better understanding of this concept. Suppose Frank borrows $6,000 at an interest rate of 13% compounded each year. Assume that no payments are made on the loan. Find the amount owed at the end of one year, and then find the amount owed at the end of two years. In order to solve this problem, do I use the I equals PRT equation, or is there another equation? For this topic, because we are only introducing compound interest, we will use I equals PRT and show the steps to compound the interest each year. In another lecture, we will discuss a formula for finding compound interest. But for now, let's learn the concept. We have a principal amount of $6,000 and we know that the interest rate is 13% compounded each year. Remember that compound interest is based on the principal amount and the past interest owed. In the first year, there is no previous interest to worry about, so we will calculate the interest for the original amount. Based on the given information, can you show how to calculate the interest in the first year? Okay, I'll start by writing I equals PRT. Now I'll substitute 6,000 for P and 0.13 for R, because 13% written as a decimal is 0.13. For T, I'm not entirely sure, but is it 1, meaning 1 year? Yes, you're right. We are solving for interest that is compounded once every 1 year period. And this is the first 1 year period, so T is 1. After calculating 6,000 times 0.13 times 1, the result is I is equal to $780. So $780 is the interest developed after the first year. The total amount owed after the first year is $780 plus the principal amount of $6,000. So $6,000 plus $780 equals $6,780. Now we need to find the interest owed after two years. We need to be careful here. We can't substitute 6,000 in for P like last time and 2 for T to mean 2 years. We have to use the amount owed of $6,780 after the first year in order to compound the interest. 6,780 becomes our new principal amount and we still use 1 for T because we are solving for another 1 year period. Substitute these numbers in and solve for I. Alright, what I'm understanding here is that I substitute 6,780 for P I still use 0.13 for R, and then I substitute in 1 again for T, right? Yes, perfect. Okay, then 6,780 times 0.13 times 1 equals $881.40. Then I add $881.40 to 6,780 dollars, and the sum is the final amount owed after two years. 6,780 plus 881.4 equals 7,661.4. So $7,661.40 is the final amount owed after two years. Very good. You've learned this well. So if I was also asked to find the amount owed after three years, then I would take 7,661.40 as the new principal amount, 0.13 for R, and 1 for T again, multiply them together, and then add this to 7,661.40? Exactly. And this process would continue for every year the interest is compounded.